Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to determine the maximum and minimum value of an array. So, we're going to determine the biggest value inside the array and the smallest value or element in the array. So, how will we do this? Let's jump into the code and gradually see how a computer will learn how to determine the maximum and minimum value. So, first of all, we've got our main structure of our C program. We save it and we build and run just to make sure that everything is okay before we start actually with the logic. So, everything is good, it compiled. So, we will firstly define a array called ARR of size 5 with the following elements 6, 3, 9, what, 7 and 1. Okay, so we've got 5 random numbers, 6, 3, 9, 7 and 1. Now, for us human beings, intuitively it's quite easy to see which number or value or element is the smallest and which element is the biggest in this array. We can see that 9 is of course the biggest and 1 is the smallest. But how do we do this in code? How do we actually tell a computer to determine the maximum and minimum values. So, the logic behind it is we're going to use a variable, let's say max, and each and every time we step through the each element in the array, we're going to store the biggest value. So, first of all, we're going to say 6 is going to be the biggest value. We're going to assume that 6 is the biggest value. Then we're going to check against 3. Is 6 bigger than 3? Yes, it's still bigger. Then we're going to compare 6 against 9. Then 9 becomes the biggest value. 7 and 1. Okay, so we need a variable that will store the biggest value each and every time we traverse through each element. So we need to determine a, or create a max element, a max variable, and its value needs to be the first element in the array. Okay. So we are going to determine the maximum value of the array by traversing through the array. So, when we traverse through an array, we need, of course, a counter variable. A counter variable. And this counter variable normally starts at zero, but because we already used the first element, we can start at one. Then it must be smaller than the size, that's five, because we only want to count from 1 to 4. Because 0 is already there, then 1, 2, 3, 4. So remember, the indexes of an array in C always starts at 0. And then I++. plus plus. We increment. Okay, so this is how we will determine the maximum. So inside this for loop we traverse through each element from 1 to 4 and we're going to compare it against the max value. So we're going to say if the element that we are currently at, that's now i is equal to 1, is it bigger than max? If yes, we save that value. If not, we keep the original max value. So how can we make such a decision? 
So we're going to use a if statement. Yes. So we're going to say max if max is smaller than the current element. If it's smaller than, we need to make max now the current element's value. And that's it. So we step through each element, and then when we um, get to each element, we ask, is max smaller than the current element? If yes, we save the new big value. If not, we don't save and we just keep the original value as is. So, after that, we can go and use a print if statement to tell the user the max number is percentage d max. So, let's quickly just recap. We have an array of five elements. 63971. We've got a max variable that is set to the first element of the array. And then we have got a for loop that will traverse through all the elements except the first element because you already saved the first element. And then when that specific element we are traversing through is bigger than the current max value, we store that value. If not, we keep the original max value. And then we can go and display the max number. So, let's see what happens by running the code. So, just quickly add a new line, I see there, just to make it nice and clear. It's the max value, the output in my command prompt, the terminal. So here we can see it, the max number is 9. And looking at the, our data, we can see that 9 is in fact the biggest. So now determine the maximum value was not that difficult. Now we want to go and determine the minimum and the min value. So the max and min value. Oh, sorry. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to do the same thing. Create a min variable, set it to the first element in the array, and then we just repeat this. We can use the same for loop because it traverses through each element. We're just going to save a different number, and we can ask if min is bigger than ARRI, okay, and if min is bigger than ARRI, we know that we need to update min with the new value. So if the minimum value, the original value, that's zero, is bigger than the current value, if it's bigger, we know that this is now the smaller value and we save it here. Great. So now we can just repeat this printf statement and we can say the min number is percentage d and the min. Okay, let's see what happens. So, by looking at our data, we know that 1 will be the smallest, but let's see if our code will do the same. Here you can see our new compilation. The max number is 9 and the min number is 1. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. By using a for loop, we can go and determine what is the max and min value inside a array.
Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.